This weekend is dedicated to the memory of Frankie Knuckles and all the pioneering DJs who have given the gift of music to our lives. This is 107.5 WBLS and WBLS HD1. Here we are. Initiating sequence. Tighten your belts and keep your radio locked. Roots NYC Live starts now. Happy Friday, family. Tonight, we come to you with heavy hearts. We are celebrating the life of Mr. Frankie Knuckles. So, me personally, I'm just going to turn the turntables over to Frankie and let him speak to you through his music and his words. Let's go.
who I grew up with at the time, asked me to come and work with him to do lights for him at the club where he was working at Continental Bass. And um, doing lights for Larry and was watching what he was doing up close, you know, um, Larry would take these extended bathroom breaks where I'm forced to have to play records while he's at the bathroom. You're not thinking about it, how it's coming together, or the fact that this is what you want to do, but then all of a sudden you kind of sort of fall into it happily by accident. You know, uh, and then you wake up one day and it's five years later and you have to seriously make a decision. Now, back then, uh, the life expectancy of a club DJ was five years. You had five years to, to make it and then move on. You're not, you're not going to do this all your life because it wasn't a career as it is now. It wasn't a profession as it is now. But you had five years to do it, have fun with it, and move on. Uh, and I used to always tell Larry, listen, I'm not going to wake up one day and be 32 years old and still playing records. <laughs> well, the joke is on me. <laughs> for me to build something from the ground up on my own. And more than anything, I wanted to make it a world inside of itself. And I wanted to make it the kind of place where people would come there and really rejoice and be happy about who they are. and we had a stoplight and there was a tavern on the corner that had a sign in the window that said we play house music that was the first time I heard it well I saw it and I asked him what it was and he said is that music you play down there at that corner <laughs> I was like excuse me <laughs> he's like that's house music and I just said oh I didn't realize it had a name 
And so he was like, well, it's the house. It's what everybody calls it. He was like, it's everybody's nickname for the place. And I just thought, oh. And that's when I felt, you know, that's when I really felt like I belonged in Chicago. That was the first time I actually really, really felt like I was a part of the city. Uh, the fact that, you know, um, people had given it a nickname, you know, and that they thought of me and that music all in, you know, all together, all in one. W-B-L-S. 107.5 WBLS KH Kevin Hedge sitting on the sidelines tonight. I got on the turntables the godfather of house himself, DJ Frankie Knuckles. I hope you're enjoying the show. We are in true celebration of his life. So don't touch that dial. On the other side, I got even more from the godfather. Roots NYC Live on your number one source for RB and house music. 107.5 WBL. Roots NYC Live. I grew up in a period where the music was just the most pristine and the most honest and um, clearly defined.
growing up in the 70s, um, and the music that inspired me the most it was most of, most anything that came out of Philadelphia. And living in New York City, so close to Philadelphia, you know, occasionally would run down there and try and get as close to what I thought of was Mecca, you know, for music uh, back then uh, as I could, but didn't always have... Uh, um, the best luck with it, but, but I got the records, you know, and listened to them and played them, and you know, it, it was different then because music wasn't actually designed for the dance floor. People just wrote really incredible songs, and some of them had incredible energy, and uh, some of them had a slower tempo about them, but they all had something about them that moved you, you know what I mean? And the songwriters themselves, you know, I mean, that's what you aspire to. With all the albums that came out back then, um, and the way music was written, you know, uh, when you look at the back of the album covers, you know, you can read all the line notes. Uh, that's how you educated yourself about, you know, about music.
history wasn't really putting out any music with real energy to it. Everything was either it was either very deep and very soulful and slow, or it was country western. Those were your two choices. And uh, so they weren't really putting out anything that had any real energy to it. So most of the records that were coming out that had any energy was coming from either out of Canada or coming from Europe. And um, what happened was I figured the only way I can keep my fans were interested is that I had to redo, you know, I had to take some of the older songs and try and like re-edit them or remix them, is what I thought I was doing with them, right. to uh, keep their interest. Because I figured there wasn't that much new music coming out.
I used to always look forward to a lot was Easter because you would always play something spiritual on Easter. Um, either like um, Aretha Franklin's Holy Holy or something like that. You would play something spiritual and something that was really meaningful. But yeah, it was very much a spiritual experience. Like Mother's Day, you know, you put on I Always Love My Mom and stuff like that. Everybody would just go nuts because it would just completely engulf you and stuff like that, especially when it got to the break and the bridge and the song and stuff like that. I mean, everyone would just lose their mind. To me, that was the part that was really most special, especially on those holidays, how um, when that room is packed, you know, like again, you know, my favorite place in the club was, you know, in front of the booth, but that room would be packed and how the, just the sound in that room would just completely just wrap itself around people. And you didn't feel like you were in a box, even though it was like a long and narrow dance, but you felt like you were in, in more of a, a womb or a cocoon, really, because it was just so warm and it was just like just the, it was always the right temperature, it was just the right, it was, everything about it was right, it, you could hear everything just so clear. i
everybody, this is Frankie Knuckles. I feel so honored and so privileged to be back to do this for you once again. Um, maximum love and infinite respect to each and every one of you. Happy Pride. Be proud. Say it loud. Let's do it. Love you. Bye. W B L S. Rest in peace, Godfather. Programming in sync. Part two. Loading up. Louis Vega. NYC Live on 107.5 WBLS.
to Roots NYC Live on 107.5 WBLS. Me. 
107.5 WBLS. Louis Vega inside the mix. Incomplete celebration of the life of the Godfather of House. Frankie Knuckles, I hope you're all enjoying it. I know I am. Just going through the times that I've sat and talked with Frankie, just remembering all of the times he's been around us. You know, when Frankie walked into a room, it seemed like the whole aura just went high. <laughs> That's the kind of human being he was, family. But we're going to keep the party rolling. Louis Vegas got even more than he just hit you with. From the Godfather of House, coming up next, Roots NYC Live on your number one source of R&B and house music, 107.5 WBL. Louis Vegas. Uh, yes. You're listening to Roots NYC Live on 107.5 WBLS.
great night celebrating all the music and work of the life of the godfather of house Frankie Knuckles is surely going to be missed it's 107.5 WBLS the hot boys Kevin Hedge Louis Vega Louis Vega's wrapping things up right now it's that time again family especially tonight we hate to go we want to keep the party going for all night long we want to send our condolences out to Judy Weinstein, Dave Morales, and the whole Death Picks family. I want to send our shout out to Mr. Eric Cupper. We love you, brother. We with you. Also want to send out our condolences to Frankie Knuckles' family. The godfather of house is officially in the build. <laughs> I love it. I love it, Louie. Thank you. Thank you for, for putting those mixes together. All of the love the people from all around the world have shown the godfather this week. We really appreciate it. The house community is being moved to a place that has never been moved before. We lost an official legend, icon, DJ guy. Now he goes to DJ St. Hood. In fact, you know, I was thinking earlier, I'm sure him and Larry LeVan are sitting around having a conversation right now about all that has happened since the passing of Larry and uh, they're enjoying themselves with some turntables. I would love to know what that conversation is really all about. That's it, family. We got to get out of here. The party is over here, but it will continue, as always, at the Club CLO, located at 18 Little West 12th Street in the meatpacking districts of Manhattan. And this Wednesday is yours truly, Kevin Hedge, and his partner here, Louis Vega, on the decks all night long. Doors open at 10, complimentary admission between 10 and 11, complimentary open vodka bar between 10 and 11. So I want to see you in the building. If the spirit moves you, Come on out and hang with us. Again, may each of you live as long as you want and never want as long as you live. May each of you live 
to be 100, but me 100, but minus a day. So I'll never know that all you wonderful souls have passed away. And never forget when WBLS is not on your radio, your radio just isn't really on. Thank you for listening. Again, rest in peace, Godfather. We will miss you. Peace. There I go, there I go, there I go, there I go. Pretty baby, you are the soul who snaps my control. Such a funny thing, but every time you're near me, I never can behave. You give me a smile and then I'm wrapped up in your magic. There's music all around me, crazy music, music that keeps calling me soul. 7.5 WBLS is bringing you Ronnie.